Ever thought moving to Japan would magically make you healthier? I had the same idea when I first moved here, the land of the rising sun, home to the healthiest people, right? Well, not exactly, let's unpack this a bit. You see, Japanese cuisine does boast a plethora of fresh ingredients and balanced meals. But it's not all sushi and miso soup. Take ramen, for instance. This seemingly quintessential Japanese dish is often overflowing with sodium. And while it's true that fish consumption is high, so too is the indulgence in less healthy options. Think tempura, deep fried in batter or curry rice, a dish that's as comforting as it is loaded with salt and fat, so no, moving here didn't make those extra pounds magically disappear. In fact, Japan has a law, the Metabo law, that requires people over 40 to have their waistlines measured. If a company's staff tips the scales, they could face fines. The pressure to stay slim is palpable, and it's not all down to a super healthy diet. But don't get me wrong, Japan's food culture is rich and diverse, and there's plenty to love. The key, as always, is balance and moderation. So while living in Japan might not automatically make you healthier, it can certainly inspire you to consider your food choices. After all, a healthy lifestyle is less about location and more about conscious decisions, don't you think? Before I moved to Japan, I imagined it as a futuristic wonderland filled with robots and cutting-edge tech. You know, the kind of place where every home has a robot butler and people zip around on hoverboards. But once I got there, my perspective changed. Yes, Japan is home to some of the most advanced technology in the world. There are vending machines that can recognize your face and suggest your favorite drink, toilets that play music and warm your seat, and even hotels completely staffed by robots. But these are not the standard. They're the exception. Believe it or not, fax machines and flip phones are still popular, especially among the older generation. And it's not just because they're resistant to change. These technologies are reliable, easy to use, and have a certain nostalgic charm. They're a comforting reminder of simpler times before smartphones and social media took over our lives. In the workplace too, tradition holds strong. While some companies are quick to adopt the latest gadgets, others prefer the tried and tested methods. Paper documents are still widely used and face-to-face -face meetings are preferred over video calls. There's a respect for the old ways that you don't often see in other countries, so while Japan does have some impressive tech, it's not always the norm, it's a fascinating mix of old and new. A place where the past and future coexist in perfect harmony. The notion of Japanese people being inherently friendly is something I believed before moving here. This belief, like many others, is not entirely without merit, but it does require a touch of clarification. When you first set foot in Japan, you're greeted with a wave of courteous smiles, bows, and a level of customer service that could make anyone feel like royalty. From the shopkeepers who thank you profusely for your patronage to the helpful locals who go out of their way to guide you when you're lost, the surface interactions are nothing short of delightful. However, the waters run deeper and they're not always as calm. Japan, you see, has a strong avoidance culture. The social fabric here is intricately woven with the threads of harmony and rocking the boat is something most avoid. Expressing controversial opinions or any form of confrontation really tends to be discouraged. And so, forging deeper connections, making true friends, can be a bit of a challenge. It requires time and effort, and a certain willingness to tread softly around the lines of their cultural norms. You'll need to understand that the Japanese often keep their thoughts and feelings to themselves, not out of aloofness, but in an effort to maintain that ever so important harmony. So while you'll find politeness in abundance, deeper connections require patience and understanding. Living in Japan has been an eye-opening experience. We've navigated through the health myth, debunking the idea of an inherently healthy diet. We've traversed the tech wonderland myth, revealing a balance between tradition and innovation. We've also explored the friendly locales myth, showcasing the depth of interpersonal relationships. Japan is a rich tapestry of contrasts and parallels where stereotypes only scratch the surface, so the reality is a bit more complex than the stereotypes, but isn't that what makes living in Japan such a fascinating experience?